I'm here now with Dr. Christiane Kuhl. She's the ISMRM gold medal recipient. Congratulations. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Tell me how you got to this point. What have you been working on? Um, well, difficult to explain, actually. I have been working with MR imaging since my birth, I'd like to <laughs> say. <laughs> I mean, when I entered the field of radiology, I actually came to um, be interested in radiology when I saw the first MR image and then uh, started uh, working on MR spectroscopy first, uh, which I found very interesting because you could just see inside a body without even touching it. I found this really intriguing and also like the idea that a big, big magnet at that time was like a big room full of a magnet would do what I told him to. <laughs> <In a way. laughs> So to be able to cope with this machine and extract diagnostic information was really interesting, appealing to me. Uh, and I found this interesting to combine sort of, you know, um, biochemistry and also medical imaging. Uh, then I actually started my career in radiology um, after I finished my PhD thesis. And then I came to uh, see um, the first work on MR imaging of breast cancer. And uh, given the enormous need on improved imaging methods for breast cancer, I found this um, the most interesting field I've ever seen so far. So then, in a way, I uh, started with uh, little more than nothing, <laughs> I'd say, uh, in that uh, at that time people struggled to even see a breast cancer on an MR image and then were overwhelmed on all the many, say, structures and findings that they made. So then I set out to systematically investigate how to diagnose breast cancer on MR imaging or with MR imaging and how to distinguish breast cancer from benign changes and also how to identify the precursors, the actual precursors of breast cancer. So one step after the other, we finally, say by the year 2000 or so, were really able to have a diagnostic armamentarium with which MR imaging became the most powerful tool in the world of breast cancer. And it really is today still the most powerful tool that we have. We are now at the verge of using this also for women at average risk uh, because uh, people have understood that using the most powerful tool up front may make sense. This is incredibly <laughs> impressive work and much needed, as you said. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much for stopping and telling us about it. Dr. Christiane Kuhl. Thank you. All right.